Subscribe our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, visit our website. Hi, according to new GSD rule, which will start in 1st June 2018, GSD rate will be revised from 6% to 0%. Therefore, for those SQL users that have preset the pricing with tax inclusive previously, and this to adjust all the items back to price without GSD in easily way instead of edit one by one. In this video, let me show and guide you with a single click to reduce the price with no GSD tax inclusive for all the stock items accurately by using SQL Account Global Price Change Value System. Before we start, if you do not have these tools yet, install as usual. Then must first log on to the relevant company in SQL account system. Double click this icon to launch SQL account global price chain system. Refer here at top to make sure it detects to the correct company. To reduce all or selected item reference price from tax inclusive to non-GST, click here on maintain stock item. Step 1. For all items selected, leave it without tick or select the stock group accordingly. Then untick non-stock control item and inactive item to only adjust for active stock control item. It's advisable to take grid mode to speed up the routing data if you have more than 10,000 record of stock item list. Then click here to get stock item list. Once stock item list loaded, you still allowed to untick any item code that you do not wish to be updated. Next, we go to step 2. Set 2 for round decimal. Select your rounding method by normal, round up, or round down. Select the output value as radio values, and for the value to be changed is 5.66%. I believe that you will curious that why is 5.66 not 6%? Based on the calculation, 5.66% is the correct value to adjust tax inclusive price to no tax inclusive price. Example, there's a preset reference price in 106. By reduce 5.66%, after rounding, you will get 100. But if you reduce 6% for 106, then this is the amount you will get. Now, let us go to step 3. Select the fields to be updated. Take reference price. Take also record change history to keep changes history in the note field for each item code. Now, click change to generate the price accordingly. As you can see here, the original reference price 106 is updated as reference price 100. Click Post to Account button to update the data in SQL Accounting. Once done, click OK for record successful updated. Let us now check in SQL Accounting. As you can see, all those stock items we preset the reference price had update the price accordingly to no tax inclusive. Meanwhile, the changes history being recorded here. That's all for today's video. Thank you and have a nice day. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest videos. Follow our Facebook for the latest update. Go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.